what happens if I have 10K debt on 15K card? Is it silly to get an installment loan to do a big chunk? Yes, that's silly. Letty Martinez, very, very silly. Do not get a loan. Stop. 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 <laughs> Don't get loans. Thank you, Jason. Letty Martinez, no loans. No loans. <laughs> Better with a line. Okay? There's another segment that I want to go over uh, on this lesson today, which is Velocity Banking in 2019, which is the name of this uh, title here. Okay, velocity banking in 2019. There, there. I feel like there's going to be some, some changes. Okay, especially with when we're applying for new uh, lines of credit, and that has to do with this ultra FICO score that's coming out. Okay, and we're going to go into that a little bit. Letty Martin done an increased line of credit, move the high interest installment to my credit card, and improve utilization, then improve credit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what you're thinking is you you're thinking the Peter to pay Paul method. Oh, let me let me just let me just shift this debt over to here. And then I pay less interest and then you know I pay the monthly payment and then I pay it down, I pay it off. No. No. Nowhere here am I borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. All right? Cuz technically I'm using the same exact tool to pay it down and to pay myself back and to do it again over and over again. If I was borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, right? Because technically this, if this was working, right? Which I'm sure it can just has to work a certain way. This 10% interest rate is simple interest. Over here on the Navy Fed, I believe the interest rate is like, uh, like I know it's more than 10 for him. I think it was like, um, like 15 or 18% or something like that. So what Letty might think is, oh, let me just take the five from here and pay it here and then um, shift the debt and just start paying the minimums on that and then paying, no, we can't do that. You gotta be able to pay both debts at the same time to then keep going, okay? Stay away from loans. There you go, camera talk, tell her, stay away. Okay, Jason, before you say you can start at any time, remember, it's based off the four numbers, number one. Number two, it's also based on how much line of credit we have, and it's also based off the actual tool. Is it a credit card? Is it a HELOC? Is it a personal line of credit? Once we get the, the foundations, the fundamentals in line, what I'm looking at is how she gets paid each and every month. Because what I want to try and do is I want to make the chunk, right? I want to make my chunk either the same day that I get paid so that I can do this. This is my line of credit. This is my debt over here that I want to pay off. And here is my checking account that I want, that, that, that uh, my income comes into, okay? So checking account, debt line of credit. What I want to try and do each and every time I make a chunk, whether it's every four months, every six months, every seven and a half weeks, however it works for you, I want to be able to take this money, make the chunk, get paid, boom, put the money in here, pay nothing in interest, right? Then throughout the month, I want to be able to strip the money out little by little, right? Day by day, week by week, to pay bills. All my money's in there already. All my cash flow is already in there, right? Just taking bills out to live. This is done, by the way. This just got wiped out. So what happens? The cash flow, boom, gets redirected here. So throughout those 30 days, what happens? We're either getting paid weekly or bi-weekly, okay? And as we're getting paid, what are we doing? Money comes in, boom. The money that you just took out for bills, it's getting supplied right back. It's being paid right, I mean, immediately. What happens, I end up paying like nothing, nothing in interest. And that creates this velocity effect 
which allows me to make a chunk faster, quicker, more effectively. I keep paying more debts faster and faster. I get to where I want to get to. I get to the real meat and potatoes, which is building wealth and leaving a legacy behind. Okay, once we get out of this whole debt issue here, then we can really start having conversations, right? I'm always, I'm, I, you know, I'm working with maybe 10 to 20 families that are at that level or, or almost there where we're paying off debts, but we're also, um, you know, setting up a life insurance policy where we're looking at acquiring properties. They're buying assets. Okay. We're, we're getting ourselves in a very, very good position. Okay. That's, that's where the real fun begins.